What's up guys, so today we've got the Gridiron Guardian Justin Herbert 91 overall with some amazing stats, 84 speed, 93 throw power. Now as far as the abilities he gets, the uh, discounted one to set feet lead at 2 AP and fearless at uh, 3 AP. And the other abilities he gets are nice, the inside dead eye, you know, the quick draw and whatnot. Now I did not add any abilities, as you can see I don't, have, I don't even have any training for it. But even if I did have the training for it, I wouldn't do it, I do want to just see the base card. Because I rarely, if ever, put the abilities on. You know, I really love to see what the base cards can do. Unless there's, like, special circumstances. But anyways, as you can see right here, the short throw was not anything to be surprised about. I mean, yeah, there was no problem with it. There's no issue. Perfect accuracy, no problem whatsoever. Now, the throw power, right, and, and the release. In my opinion, the release speed was not anything, you know, amazing. Now, of course, like I said, I didn't have any um, abilities. I'm sure quick draw would have helped, you know, obviously, because I was under a lot of pressure. Because as everyone knows, like right there, everybody loves to blitz five, six people. So more often than not, you're gonna have people in your face. Rarely are you gonna have like a clean pocket to work with. But anyways, uh, the short accuracy was fine. Now the mid accuracy, the probably the most important stat of all, as you can see, was actually extremely impressive. I mean, I don't think he had a bad single uh, mid pass whatsoever. I did lead some of these passes, as you can see, obviously, but you know, that's to be expected. The 84 speed, it was about what you would expect. The acceleration is just not there. It's, it's, he's going to take a while to really know, like really get going. But from what I could see, it was just fine. Like right here, you know, if you're going to run with them, just slide or go out of bounds. Obviously, you're not going to want to truck or run anybody over as tempting as it might be. Now, that pass right there was probably one of his best. I mean, I'm surprised myself that my guy even caught that. The deep pass as well, same thing, you know, just lead your receiver. It does take a bit more of the user skill, you know, to move your, to, uh, move your receiver in the right direction to catch that ball. But... At least he's capable of doing it and of course you know with all that being said i'm not going to sit here and say he was perfect you know he definitely had a few missed passes i will say though um the only missed pass that i recall seeing was you know when there's some like a legit like right up like right in his face you know when he was like really under pressure which i know everybody watching is going to say well obviously you know that's kind of common sense but i do know uh, notice, and it's right here look the, the, the 84 speed i don't know if you notice if you want you can play it back he he took a while to get you know to the top speed of 84 but at least you know once he gets to the 84 speed you know at least you know he will outrun some not all but some defenders now most importantly or i'm sorry not most importantly but most impressively was throwing on the run i feel that's what surprised me the most he made a couple of crazy um you know across the body passes that nobody should be throwing now this is what i'm talking about right here you know there was a few times where he was under pressure and he just you know sailed the ball a little too much um, I believe it was the next play. Yeah, I think it's this one where I think it was, you know, my no, I think it was the one before that. But regardless, um, there were a few bad passes, you know, when people, yeah, that one right there. That one I think might have been my fault because I clicked on it and maybe I pressed the wrong button. But look at this play. Someone in his face throwing back. I don't know. That was Mahomes like, okay? I'm not exaggerating. That was ridiculous. He, he put it exactly where it needed to be. This one, same deal. That one probably should have been picked up, but that was probably just my user skill, you know, jumping over the ball. But still, at least he's putting it in, you know, in a place where my guy can go and get it. So all that being said, and look at that one again, same deal. A little underthrown, but at least, you know, <laughs> it, technically, at least my guy could have, uh, was able to come back to get the ball. Now, with all that being said, I was impressed by all means. And like I said, this is without any abilities. Can you imagine if you got a theme team and you throw some abilities on him, he'll be even that much more effective. Now he does go for about between 650, 630. That is a very hefty price. So unless you can build him for cheap, I'd probably say wait a little bit because right now I didn't see anything about him that was super crazy above all the other quarterbacks like Bledsoe and whatnot. But even so, guys, um, like I said, if you like the review, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.